Right, so we'll just address the elephant in the room straight off the bat. Jenny. <laughs> right, lads, welcome back to another video. And this one's clearly an episode about the six. We actually will address the elephant in the room right now. Ben. Obviously. Ha 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 ha. Obviously, last time round, I did kind of get the format a wee bit wrong. Simply due to the fact that I chose games from the Premiership, like when we picked out Dundee United. I ended up choosing their game from this weekend rather than seeing exactly what Premiership games were taking place last weekend. So we've worked it out this week that we'll not choose any Premiership games and we'll just stick to Championship League 1 and League 2. Of course that means we're going to miss out on the Glasgow Derby, Celtic v Rangers, Old Farm, whatever you want to call it. However, it's how it is. I say we predict it just for the fun, but... Well, what are you going with? I'm going with Rangers 1. You're quite smart, because they've no lost a league game all season. I'll go I'm for a 1-1 one, one draw. I'm going for Rangers 1 and Morelos to score. Well, he never scores in these games. Okay, I don't like I don't like him anyway, but I'm just going to say he's going to score. Let's get into the six, though. The whole premise of why we're here. Another elephant in the room is the original trophy is back. Jenny kindly found it for us. It is no longer the Ghoul 2014-15 Team Gym Championship. It is indeed the Predict the Six winner trophy. And this will be handed out to whoever comes out on top in the wee competitive league table that we've got at the end of the season. Speaking of that wee table, I'm on five points due to getting three of the wee quiz questions right last week and getting two results correct as in wins, which gets you an extra point. I didn't get the scores right, but I got the results right. Jenny currently only sits on one point because she had two Premiership games last week that are actually being played tomorrow. And then I, I got the Morton one wrong. Yes. And I got one question right that we all know that wasn't fair because he made them a bit hard. I'm very sorry. I'll make them easier this week. You better. But without further ado, let's jump right into this and go through the Championship League 1 and League 2 games, pick out games, predict them. I'm delighted to see the return of lower league football. Aren't you? Buzzing. Of course you are. Who's going first? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Me. Championship we will go for first. I'm hoping not to get them firm one. I'm just, I didn't want to jinx our game at all. Show me. United. They're playing Wraith Rovers at home this week. And I think I'll go for a tight Air United one. I don't really know the premise of this apart from... Obviously, the midweek results kind of swaying me a wee bit because Air got a win away at Dundee, an impressive 3-1 victory, and Wraith lost at home to Inverness. So, I'm going to go off the basis of that. Wraith have been a bit topsy-turvy in their form. They've been win-loss, win-loss, kind of the whole of 2021 so far. But I'm going to go for another loss for the wee team. And I'm going to go for 1-0 Air United. Can I ask you a question now? You can ask me a question, indeed. Okay. So I want to know where they finished in the table last season. They were in the playoffs. I know this. I'm going to go for third. Scottish Championship table. 2019-20. You said third? Yes. Fourth. Ah! <laughs> no point to you. I am going to go with Scottish League One. Brilliant. Let's see who you get. Partick Thistle. So I believe they are playing Cove Rangers at Partick Thistle's ground. It's their first game back in a good few months. So there's nothing really to go off of here. Teams haven't really been playing. So just go with what your heart is telling you to go. I'm going to go for a Partick Thistle win just to back my guy Joe Cardle. Any score here? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go with a... 2-1, Partick, with Joe Cardle to score for an extra point, please. Since it's quite an obscure wee pack, I'll give you it if it hams. Your question though, what colours did Partick Thistle play in? Um, if you get one of them, I'll give you it. I am going to say yellow and red. Correct. So two points? No, you're, no, no, <laughs> that's enough extra points. Right, and I'll go for the only one that's left, Scottish League 2. Of course we're predicting six games, three games each, so I've still got one left to pick, but the only league we've no touch so far, 
that is available to us is Scottish League 2. So, we'll go in there. Starling Albion. So they are playing Brecon City at home. I'm actually really going to back Starling Albion here, not just because of Brecon's poor form, but they've actually signed a couple of decent players in the last day or so, I believe it's Daryl Meggett, Jordan Kirkpatrick and Jordan Allen. I think that's the three players. I'm going to back that. So I, I'm going to go for a pretty strong Starling Albion win here. In terms of the actual score I'm going to go, it might not seem that strong, but a 2-0 win, regardless. Question. So, they've not played a game in quite a long time, so I want to know when was our last loss and who was it against? Let's go for Elgin City. Okay. Let's have a wee gander. And who do you say? Elgin City. Ross County. Well, I see, I saw They've Elgin won. there though. Oh, no, wait, no. That is a loss. Oh, you got it right. It was a good... <laughs> yes. Well, they've basically won half of the games. Yes, come on. I just can't read. What a pick. What a pick. I am going to go in order and I'm going to go in League 2. In order? I went 1, 2, Championship. That's what I'm going to do. Right. That is not order. That's not order because League 2 comes below League 1. Eh? Uh, it's Championship, League 1, League 2. You've got to do what you want. Number order, I'm going to go with League 2. Go for it. Queen's Park. Queen's Park. They're playing Strunrar. Strunrar. Queen's Park and Strunrar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with a Strunrar win. Oof, that's pretty outrageous. Queen's Park are top of the league. Still going to go with a Strunrar win. You have to be, you know, a wild card. I'm going to go with a Strunrar win and I'm going to go 1-0. Well, your question about Queen's Park. I have mentioned their manager in previous times. He was a big figure on the channel back when we used to live in my mum's house. He's talked about him quite a lot on this channel. So I think I've got an idea. Right, well, <laughs> go with it. Ray McKinnon. Oh, well done. Yes, I was going to say Alan Johnson, but he's no, not that. No, it's Queen of the South. And finally, I'm going to delve back into the Championship and get another game for there. In fact, no, I've not touched League One yet. I'll go to League One. Cove Rangers. That's Partick Thistle again. I said Partick Whistle. Whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic Whistle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, just to make it interesting, you said you need to go for a wee wild card. I'll go for oh. a Cove Rangers win. So you copy me. It's not a hell of a wild card. I think Cove Rangers are actually above Partick in the league at the moment. However, I will go with a Cove Rangers win here. I said 2-1. I'll go 2-1 Cove. I'll just mimic you and go the other way around. Original. Mm. Who was our last signing? Oh, that's <laughs> a, how am I meant to even how am I meant to even find the answer to this? It'll be on their Twitter or something. I need to look back quite far. That's all right. Oh. I'm sure you could Google it. Oh, I, I've honestly got no idea. Can, I, I, I genuinely mm. can't answer. I, I'm not well, going. You're going to lose the point. I, I'll, I'll give you that point. I cannot answer that. Anyway, as I said, a 2-1 Cove Rangers win is what I'm going with and I give up the bonus point. I'm going to go with Championship. The last pick of this episode. Championship. Do not get the Dunfermline game. Do not jinx us. Well, I'd say you'd lose last week and you won, so maybe it's a hang. Hearts. Hearts. <laughs> I would like my question first, please. Uh, you got hearts last week. No, you got hearts last week. All right. What was the score in last week's hearts win? They won, but what was the score? I know less, I know less, because you better do that. I know less. <laughs> like you said, 2 0, so I'm going to say 2 1. Is that right? Oh, they didn't! What? What? I said 2 1, it was 2 0. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you were literally here. You you heard me say it. <laughs> Wasn't he here? A broth versus hearts. Okay, I'm going to say hearts win, because uh, I believe they're currently at the top of the table. Uh, they're like 4 5 wins off one league. Right, so I'm going to say Hearts won. Uh, let's get them back up into Premiership. Um, what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. I'm going to say 3 1 to Hearts. Right, that's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching. So, last week I asked you to get 36 likes or something, and you got about 51. So, I'm going to do 46 likes. We'll go up in the tens. Mm -hmm. So, 46 likes on this video. 
please. Comment down below your predictions for the games that we have predicted and subscribe for more of this type of content. Until the next video, which will be me back on Sunday talking about the Dunfermline game that hopefully we've picked up three points in. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.